Welcome back to Definitely Not Definitive. I'm Ken. And I'm Bethany. And we're just a couple of casual gamers in love that love doing some trailer reactions together. We're casual gamers because we're not that skilled. But we're <laughs> getting better. <laughs> yes, we are getting some getting better. And uh, we're doing some gameplay uh, live streams like we Fridays are. and Sundays, Friday nights, Sunday afternoons, um, Pacific Standard Time. So you should go ahead and check it out. And this one is we're doing a reaction to Gotham Knights trailer. Um, DC Fandom's coming out this Saturday, and so we wanted to gear up for it. And so we got a Double Trouble Thursday today. This is the first of two reactions we got coming out today. And the other one is obviously DC focused as well. Um, we're taking a break from the spooky a little bit and uh, getting to some DC stuff. I don't know about that. I mean, Gotham City is pretty spooky. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, still, it's still a little bit dark. It's still a little bit dark, so you know, it's, it's in there. It's, it, it fits in the wheelhouse. Um, but yeah, we're gonna go ahead and check this one out. In breaking news, we've received reports of an explosion somewhere north of the city. We're still waiting for the police to confirm if there are any victims. This story is evolving rapidly. Please bear with us. We are just really loud. Boom. There was smoke. Everywhere. Emergency services have confirmed that they've discovered a body buried in the wreckage. We're still waiting for further details. Emergency vehicle. It appears that a large portion of the building has actually collapsed. International news: an explosion rocked Gotham City earlier today. You're now able to confirm that billionaire philanthropist Bruce Wayne is. Nice. Nice. automatically triggered when I destroyed the cave and everything it contained. We both know it won't take long for Gotham's criminals to realize that Batman is gone. And you can't count on the GCPD. Haven't trusted us since Jim died. Mm. Yeah. Gotham will need its protectors more than ever. Oh, I'm nice. leaving you the Belfry as a base of operations. Some mm -hmm. of the technology is outdated. But it has the gear you need and all of my files. He almost looks like Tom Holland. Robin, of Boys course. I've always had my back when I needed you. I know you'll keep Gotham safe. Good luck. And goodbye. <sighs> Batman is gonna cry. Yeah. Suit up. All right, so he called all his Robin. Robins, old Robins, and that girl. Well, why is Robin in a hoodie? <laughs> that I don't know. Gotham City's Purge. Cool shot. Mm -hmm. I like this fancy little stick thing. Yeah. Yeah, that girl. I like the neon aesthetic they got going on here. Nice. Yeah. Very like 80s. Whoa. Yeah, I think I want to play as that guy. Nightwing. I'm totally bar recording. <laughs> Every day and twice on Sunday. Nice. Oh, I thought he was going to shoot him in the crotch after he shot him. Up. I thought he was too. <laughs> Oh, what, what was that? I don't know. I want to go invisible. Why are they vigilantes now? Oh. Corrupt. Oh, they went to vigilantes after they were heroes. Okay. So now they're back to heroes. Oh, nice. I totally want to be her. Gameplay looks fun. Mm-hmm. To legends. Jason Voorhees? It totally looks no like him. What? Is this the same trailer? My whisper word is said. 
freaky as hell. Or if you try to cross them, then the tower strikes you dead. Step into the night. Ooh, that's a great teaser line. Yeah, right? Well, you're dead on the money because uh, there, it did get a little spooky and creepy there at the end there. I was not expecting that. I thought that was a completely different trailer. That's happened before. We were watching a trailer. It kind of bleeds into another trailer. And I thought that's what happened in this one. But I, I kept it going because I wanted to see. And yeah, I'm glad we did. Since when does Gotham has like a, a Matrix room of floating coffins? It made me think of uh, Monsters, Inc. And, the, and all the doors that uh, led in there. And so like in each, each of the coffins leads to, um, you know, a child's bedroom. I love that you think of the sweet one, and here I am thinking of like the horrifying aspects of the Matrix. Yeah. Uh, so what do you think about it overall? I really want to play this. I, um, I've always loved the character of Barbara Gordon, and so I would be thrilled to play with her, or play as her in a uh, video game. I've never had that experience before, and this one looks really good. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm very intrigued by that. I'm also intrigued by Robin. Okay. Um, I know less about Nightwing, but I gotta say, his moves were yeah very impressive. That's what I'd want to play as is Nightwing. That's fine because I mean you can play as uh, you know Batgirl and Robin, and I can play as Nightwing and Red Hood. And I'm Nightwing. a traditionalist. Yeah. So I, I go old school. I, I think it's probably it's this single player. Is this multiplayer? Is it couch co-op? Uh, there were two characters fighting at once. It was it was Batgirl and. I think Robin was the other one in one of those scenes, so it did look like you could have two people at once. Yeah, she's saying, it, can you do the couch co-op or not, mm. or is it just uh, straight online? So let us know down in the comments what you thought about uh, Gotham Knights, and uh, we have another DC um, trailer reaction coming out today, it's DC Universe Online cinematic trailer, so make sure you go ahead and check that out. You know, I have to say, you mentioned Tom Holland in that yeah. shot, and I just have to say how truly disappointed I am that Joseph Gordon-Levitt didn't get to become the fully-fledged Robin yeah. in the Christopher Nolan Batman. True. I realize I, I'm so sorry I interrupted because I realized I totally just interjected with that thought, but I had it when you mentioned Tom Holland as mm -hmm. Robin, and I was like, no, it's supposed to be Joseph Gordon-Levitt. And I just, I am super bummed that we never saw that come into fruition, that it was a trilogy and not a larger franchise because those movies to me were so perfect for Batman in the yeah. portrayal of how Batman could be in our real world in a dark Gotham City reminiscent of cities like Chicago and New York and I would imagine probably Pittsburgh as well. Sort of those like Midwest, East Coast, a little bit darker and grittier kind of cities. Um, and I'm, I'm just very disappointed. Yeah, it is disappointing. The Nolan films were great, and uh, it would have been nice to see uh, a bunch of things that, like, you know, had, uh, had a lot of promise and for different reasons, like, uh, didn't come to fruition. So thanks so much for checking out our reaction to the Gotham Knights world premiere trailer. Just keep in mind that our reaction is definitely not definitive.